Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I'd show you how I start my stamping plates. So this is an A4 lever arch file. So everybody's probably got one of these or you can buy them in local shops like Range or Wilco's does them. So what I do then is I get some card normal card so i just get everything off of ebay because I, I don't like going out so i'm lazy so you just get some card i always get like the also colored ones so then i just pick one and this one's animals and then i go through into sections flowers and stuff then i've got a section on geometric lines then i've got another one designer seasonal so you could have as many divides as you want so if we just go on to the next section so i'll show you these ones because there's a, a few at the back that i haven't done that's why i've had to buy a new card so once you've got your card you then need to buy these wallets so these ones the two ones these ones i keep the larger stamping plates in and these are postcard wallets so i get them for the larger ones and then i get pull that over these ones are baseball card or pokemon card holders so you obviously you get nine in there which is this one so when you get these they're just plain obviously there's no just three little compartments on these ones so i get them ones for the circles and the smaller squares so then what i actually do is i get some card and i cut it out into the size of the inside of these slots so once i've done that let's open this one i'll show you i can pull this one back in so once you've done it, you'll have a little piece of card. So I just open the slot and stick that in. So then you can use both sides of your plastic wallet instead of just one. So you can put one in this side and one on the other side. So that means these wallets will have 18 instead of just nine. So when you've got these wallets, if you don't get some velcro so this velcro obviously you get both sides one side is stick it so i cut a piece off which i then stick let's get this one out and then stick it into the opening of the wallet so that when you've put your stamping plates in you seal that and then if they get tipped upside down, no, it falls out. Because it does, it falls out and they get mixed up and it's annoying. So I just put Velcro on each section just to hold everything in place. And like I say, everything is in sections. So once I stop being lazy, I will probably spread them out more. But that section is arts and flowers and lace, that one. This one, like I says, is going to be animals and it goes all the way down on different um, types of stamping plates so that when your clients come, they can say, oh, I want flowers or I want a design plate or I want an animal print. Then you just have to go through and you can find that section that you want and you know that everything's going to be neatly stored away. They're not going to be all over the place. You have to go through loads. I know if I go to flowers, they can just pick whichever one they want out of these. And they're all, you can see them all. They're all neatly laid out. They just have to flick. And it's just so much easier for them to find out. Obviously, I've still got a bit of work to do with this. Because I have bought loads more stamping plates, which is why i've had to buy some more of these wallets and some more velcro and stuff but i just thought i'd share that with you because i know you can buy these 
and they are a bit expensive so you may as well make your own which is a lot a lot cheaper to be honest i've had this one about two or three years now but i've only just started really buying a few more of the stamping plates but it's just so much easier to store all your stamping plates in it and i think these are about 250 each the card's probably about two quid and then that so you probably make this and have quite a few holders for about a tenner all in all uh, and then you've got your velcro so maybe 12 quid all in all and you've got yourself a nice little folder to store your stamping plates in so i hope that helps you out guys and Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.